What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today we're going to be taking first looks at some new AAA anime exclusives, Boruto with Chakra Blade and Naruto Baryon Mode. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're enjoying your Wednesday. So today we have some fun stuff to open. Two new AAA anime exclusives that a lot of people are excited about, especially Naruto Baryon Mode. Now before we jump further into those, we do have our question of the day for today's video, and that is, what is your favorite Naruto or Boruto character? Alrighty, so before we jump into the unboxing of the pops, I do want to give you guys the information you're probably looking for. When the heck are these going to arrive in your hands? So what I have to show you today are called samples basically and what that means is I just got samples of the product and once samples are sent out, usually about a month or two later all the product does arrive but these Naruto Baryon modes and the Boruto should be arriving in roughly four to six weeks just so you guys know so you should be getting charged within the next couple weeks. Now of course I'll give you guys another update once they are officially here so make sure to look out for that Funko News update. For now though I do want to say a big thank you to AAA Anime and their team for sending these samples over early. I I am very, very excited. So let's jump into the unboxing. All right, guys, so today we're trying something different and we're gonna do the overhead camera like this. I figured it could be fun. Bailey's been doing it and it looks really nice. And I took my mouse pad from my office. So we have, you know, Hinata, um, Luffy, Light. Not exactly sure who that is, if somebody can let me know down below. He looks familiar, familiar though, excuse me. Deku, Food Wars, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Yu Hakusho, um, Assassination Class, all kinds of really cool things. Naruto's over there. Anyways, though, we're going to be opening up Naruto Berry on Mode today, the Glow in the Dark AAA anime exclusive. So here's kind of a look at the box. Art is really nice on this. Probably one of the coolest figures to date. We have Naruto Barry on one right there, number 1361. On the back there, showcasing the new wave, we have Borto with Rasengan, Mitsuki with Snake Hand, Sarada with uh, Sharingan. I actually want the glow version of that one. Shinki, Sumeri with Nui, and Naruto Barry on mode, the regular one. So let's go ahead and open this one up and see what we're working with. One of the top 10 pops of this year. I don't know if it's like number one. We're going to have to see. It does look really good in person so far. If I can get it open. Oh my gosh. Good lord. Jeez, guys, those prongs do not mess around. They were really stuck in there. Took real a lot of prying, to be honest. Okay, so let's put everything to the side here and check this one out. So this is a Pop Deluxe kind of like six inch super. You can see kind of the glow paint on his red eyes there. And this looks amazing. Look at the base stand. That is so cool. I love the kind of like blackish gray quality it has there and translucent. And then he has his hands up like this. Come at me. Oh, this is so freaking sweet. One of the best Naruto pops to date. Look at all the tails. Oh my gosh. The black line detail is really nice. And then the yellowish white tips. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So before we do the glow in the dark feature, you guys know that I like doing my comparison. So here is the Naruto as a nine tails LACC exclusive. So you can kind of see some different tail detail there as well, which is really nice. So check that out. I figured these were some of the best ones to compare it to. That's really freaking cool. This is so amazing. I love the base stand the most. Though. That looks so freaking neat around his feet. And then we do have Kurama here, the six inch pop. You know what's funny though? This is a pop six inch like super, but he's like not even as tall. I think the tails basically make it almost as tall, but yeah, I feel like six inch pops and deluxe have been getting smaller and smaller these days. Anyways though, here's one more look at him before we show off the glow in the dark feature. This is just a beautiful pop. All right, now let's check out the glow. All right guys, so I have a lot of glow action going on here. I'm trying to get a lot of different angles here with two different glow lights to try to maximize the glow. I don't remember if the base glows. I think it's just the actual figure, not the base, but we're about to find out. Get the hair there. Make sure to get all the little pieces, the eyes especially. All right, let's see what happens. Are you ready? Let's turn off this one. All right, three, two, one. Oh, okay. So the eyes aren't glowing great, but the back glows fantastic and the white tips are awesome. I don't really know what's happening with the eyes. I was noticing that the white paint or the, excuse me, the glow paint on the eyes wasn't amazing in terms of like how they did it. But yeah, it's the eyes are kind of like, I don't know. I'm going to try again. Try to leave it on there for a second. But the eyes aren't crazy impressive. Okay, now that's a little better. It doesn't look like any part of his, uh, his what he's wearing is actually glowing in the dark, which I feel like it kind of takes away from the glow, but not too crazy. 
But yeah, like otherwise like this, like for example, this glow is always insane, as you can tell, just instant. All right guys, so something I wanna do with Naruto Baryon mode is I want to leave him in the sun because that is one of the best ways to charge him as well for maybe like five, 10 minutes and see if that does anything with his eyes, especially while we unbox Boruto. All right, so as Naruto Baryon mode is charging in the sun, we now have Boruto with Chakra Blade, also a triple anime exclusive and the Glow Chase variant. So here's a look at the box art and all the coloring looks really nice. I kind of like the uh, Boruto colors they went with on the box, definitely one of the more unique boxes and then again same wave on the back pretty much the same boxes and he is number 1383 now i honestly they're the same pop so we don't really need to unbox both but we are going to just because one is a glow in the dark chase so it's going to look a little bit different in detail due to that you know chase glow factor so let's go ahead and take him out first wow i will tell you these are definitely stronger inserts Funko is using all right so borto with chakra blade Ooh, the chakra blade actually looks really good Kind of looks like Boruto with a lightsaber, but still really, really nice. So it's basically just a simple Boruto just holding the chakra blade. That is about it. I wanted to bring out like another Boruto kind of just to give you guys a comparison, but yeah, it's, it's basically just Boruto holding a chakra blade. Nothing too special here, but still cool, I guess, if you guys, uh you know, still want to pick it up. Still available. I'll leave links down below if you want to pick it up. And then this is the chase variation, which you'll see a lot of different kind of like uh, detail in the hair. That's where they put a lot of the glow paint and on the sword. I think only the sword and hair glow though. And here they are side by side. Obviously you can see this is a much different yellow here. This is more like a banana peel. And this one's like a, I don't know, it's like a grayish, really, really faded yellow essentially. Just showing that it's a glow in the dark pop. Even the sword is a little bit different as well. But overall, same pop. So if you just got the chase, you would honestly be fine with this one. Now, since this one is a little bit more of a simple glow, I'm just gonna use the UV light because already the hair is going nuts, as you can see. Good Lord, that is bright, like a super sand. Let's try to get the chakra blade. See if that works. I won't need the sun for this one because this one seems to glow really well. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that's good. Oh, his clothes glow too. Oh, that's really good. I like that. Okay, let's try to get some on there too. Eyebrows. Oh, that's actually really nice. Kind of reminds me of a Fire Force pop a little bit in terms of like the stripe detail. That's really cool. They did a really good job on this glow. The hair is amazing. Yeah, that's really awesome. I kind of wish the eyes glowed in the dark, but I understand that, you know, making black eyes glow and normal eyes doesn't really make a lot of sense. But while I have it here, I guess, we do have the Borto with uh, the glow in the dark EE exclusive, excuse me. And again, another really awesome glow. So yeah, they did a really good job on Borto. I'm telling you guys though, nothing's ever gonna be glow in the dark Kurama. All right guys, so back to Naruto Baryon mode. I left it in the sun for like five, 10 minutes. He's definitely very warm, but as you can see, it left a more vibrant glow from the sunlight. But unfortunately, the eyes just are not fantastic on this one. That is such a bummer because it feels like it's such a big portion of the figure. The hair is actually really cool. It's like a soft yellow, but the orange is red on the tails is just insane. All right, guys. So that was pretty much everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button down below. Obviously, the only bad thing about this video is that his eyes didn't glow too well. However, if you did notice, they had a lot of kind of like splotches of paint like big big little particles of paint essentially in different areas and i think that kind of affected the glow or maybe they were trying to make it glow more who really knows it could just be a bad sample on the eye detail essentially and all the other ones could arrive great we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens either way it's a fantastic pop outside of the glow like this is a beautiful pop i do wish it was slightly bigger i think that's the only other gripe i really have with it other than that it's just perfect now again just to remind you guys this one will be arriving in four to six weeks so Make sure to look out for that future Funko News update. And if you guys haven't ordered this one and this video convinced you, make sure to check out my link down below. You can order it there. With all that being said, though, again, thank you so much for watching. I do want to say a big shout out to all the amazing Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 17,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.